Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of The Cube. So today I am at Kermit's new bait and tackle shop. And basically he has set up an automatic or AFK fish farm. And so he gets lots of things like fish of all different varieties. How cute is it that he put it on ice blocks? It's like a, a fish market on packed ice. Uh, he also gets books and the real reason I'm here, he gets name tags. Now, I know what you're saying. If you watch a lot of Cube members' perspectives, you're saying right now in the comments, Stacy, his prices were one gold block per name tag a few days ago, and you missed it. But no, I didn't. Uh, I came over here, but I was only able to get two of the name tags at the price of one gold block per name tag. He's raised his prices to two gold blocks per name tag now, which is kind of a shame. Uh, but I'm sure that I'll still be frequenting his shop uh, in the future. So today, um, actually, first of all, look at this. This is a new, uh, it's like a theater on the cube. How cool is that? Like with, a, a, you know, the stage. Um, I thought that was pretty fancy. Uh, I don't know if anyone's putting on a play, uh, but I'll, I'll make sure to, I think there's more seats, way more seats than there are cube members, but that's okay. Anyway, so, uh, speaking of Kermit, apparently he built some kind of automatic chicken farm, uh, that went haywire and he spawned a... Uh, crazy amount of chickens I guess and it glitched the server and they needed to set back the server and when they did that uh, they set the server back about two days and all of my work on my stables uh, was undone also the horses that I had uh, brought up from when I was pranked uh, were also back underground uh, so thankfully uh, doll juice helped me uh, we stayed up really really late one night and basically we dug holes down into the uh, just, we took off the top layer of dirt and then got a ton more dirt and just raised the ground uh, and it was a really long process uh, but we have all of the horses back up up, and I'm gonna check the sales because I'm pretty sure that I've actually had some sales at least one sale I know of <gasps> oh my goodness I did not think that that was the case 41 blocks of gold guys um, and I don't know I think people are just making up prices because my book is still missing uh, someone has yet to return my book if you have any leads leave them in the comment not these kind of leads like a clue type of a lead uh, because I really don't want to retype that 12 page book but I think I'm going to have to uh, if it's not back by the next episode but all of my horses are back the gray ones either someone is buying them and not breeding them or they are glitching back into the wall uh, so I'm going to have to spend some time here trying to get my population back up uh, looks like someone bought a black one uh, but again, they're not breeding them, but of course I can't really blame them because they don't have the book anyway, so Basically because of the rollback all of the work I had done to my stables over two days uh, There was one night that I stayed up really really late before I went to comic-con where I worked a ton on my stables It was all undone So when I logged on and I saw that you know There was grass where there should be coarse dirt and there was coarse dirt where there should be grass and there was stone brick where there should be coarse dirt and my entire roof was gone I pretty much just rage quit uh, and then a couple hours later Dole came on and just helped me f finish the entire thing the stables are completely done guys uh, so I have my cake um, no I don't I didn't get my cake oh yep we gotta go back for the cake we have got to go back for the cake I made a promise that I would eat the cake when the stables were complete and I'm going to stick to that promise. Uh, someone mentioned in the comments that we need to have an ATM over by the stables uh, in case people come and they can't pay. And I totally agree, I just don't have an eye of ender. Um, but uh, hopefully someone will will do that soon, I guess. I'm assuming if there's betting on the horse racing uh, that that'll happen and there will be an ender chest over there. Uh, but look, look, let's um, let's combine all of my gold. Guys, a stack and 11 of gold. Can you even believe that? I never in my wildest dreams imagined that I would be that rich. Uh, but I do want to talk about something that came up in the last episode, and that is the pricing of my stables. 
everyone was saying that it was too low. Uh, and so here's the thing, guys. When I first launched the Equine Emporium, I priced my horses really high. And I said, you know, oh, well, cube members have lots of gold. And everyone said the prices were too high. So then when I made my stalls, I priced them low. And now everyone's saying that they're too low. So listen, I am fine with the prices. And I think that that's probably all that matters. Uh, the idea here is basically that... Um, you know, people don't really need to buy these stables. It's a convenience, sure, to have your horse somewhere close to the track and not have to take it to your house, uh, but they don't need it. So yeah, I'm charging four gold blocks a month, which I think is perfectly reasonable. I think that's a good price still. Everyone was saying that the 12 gold blocks for an entire year was too low. But the way I look at it is... Uh, they'll just pay me 12 blocks now because they'll think, oh, that's such a deal. Why would I do four gold blocks a month when I could pay 12 for an entire year? So really, I'm going to get 12 gold blocks from everybody up front, and it's going to be amazing because all I did was build this building. I'm not even giving them anything in return. I'm giving them like eight blocks of dirt. What? No. What did I hit? Why? I didn't know this was a thing. <laughs> uh okay cancel no are we live now hello <laughs> uh okay uh that was interesting so anyway i'm happy with the prices they're not changing uh but look at the new stables completely done guys oh stud two you're so happy i know um we need to find georgette though actually i don't think she's upstairs i think I thought I left her right around. <gasps> Here she is. Hi, Georgette. You can unsit. So basically, let's show off these stables now. I said basically. I'm never allowed to say basically again. Uh, so everything is kind of the same that it like like it was last time. It's just that I've completely finished the roof and I've completely finished the inside. I raised all of these beams. I raised the torches. I raised the signs. Um, I just made everything like really grand uh, and I'm actually really really happy with the way that it turned out I think they're beautiful and they're all you know similar now with the the roof in place uh, and Dull even did some terraforming over here which is awesome uh, so that's the back of it um, and this is it now the stables are complete um, a couple people didn't like the fact that there was of course dirt down here um, you know, you got to use your imagination, right, guys? In my mind, when I look at this stable, it is, like, completely, uh, you know, like, worn, dusty dirt uh, that's been trotted down by the horses. And, uh, you know, these this wood is weathered. These fence posts are, are weathered. And it's just a, a beautiful old stable. It doesn't look like this. <laughs> you have to use your imagination. In fact, three two, one, bam! <laughs> uh, this is a new texture pack uh, that I found called Storyblock that I absolutely love, guys. Hi, Georgette. Hi. I love this texture pack so much. Uh, they don't have the coarse dirt yet, actually. Um, but look, look at how Stud 2 looks. Stud 2, look at me. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to use this on the cube. I'm going to switch back to default. I just thought it'd be interesting to take a look at what my stables look like uh, in this texture pack. I just think this texture pack is awesome. Uh, and I'm going to probably be using it in, uh, in a series that I do on my channel that is coming up very, very soon. So... Uh, that's a little bit of a sneak peek. Tell me what you think of it. I adore it. Uh, anyway, Georgette, let's have our cake. Let's have our cake in this texture pack because I think it's actually really, really cool. Um, let me see. Where's the cake? Here it is. Here we go. And are you ready, Georgette? You can have a little bit, but I'm probably going to eat most of it. This is a, a cake to celebrate us uh, finishing our stables. Yay. Yum. Let me, can I eat the cake? I want to eat the cake. <gasps> Georgette, no! I'm sorry! Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Georgette. Do I have any fish? I guess I could go buy some from the, the bait and tackle shop uh, to get your health back up. I'm so sorry. Here, you sit down. Uh, okay, I'll eat the cake. Serves me right for trying to eat the cake um, in third person. And there's a little slice left for you, Georgette. Uh, so, look at how cool the book and quill is. 
So basically, I am basically, uh, I'm going to have someone come and join me at my stables now. Someone whose opinion I am very excited to hear about the stables. Uh, I also want to give this person something. So I am going to uh, wait until morning and then that person is going to come uh, now. Hi, Bayani. Hello. How's it going? Good. How are you? I am doing fantastic. I don't think that you've ever been in one of my episodes of The Cube. I, like, I don't think so. <laughs> that's so weird. It's the first time. And I'm pronouncing your name right, right? Bayani? Yes, yes you're pronouncing it correct. <laughs> Everyone says Bayani. Yeah, even Grazer. And he's he's known me for two years and he still says it wrong. <laughs> Man. Uh, okay, so I brought you on today because I wanted to show you my finished uh, stables. Okay. So this way. And yeah. you just told me that you have not seen them, actually. No, I've not seen the finished okay. version of it. So you can go, you know, go hard on me. I want your, I want your honest take on it as a builder. <laughs> okay. I'm very nervous about this because I built it so close to your racetrack, which, by the way, I think one time I just casually was like, oh, a racetrack would be cool. And then you built this, like, insane yeah. uh, Mario Kart. Ra like, how long did this take you? Um, I don't even know. It took me, like... Over the course of 10, 15 episodes, something like that. I mean, I was even swimming underwater over there, and I noticed that the build actually goes down into the water, too. Yeah, yeah, for part of it. I gotta finish that, actually. That's uh, insane. All right, anyways, here they are. Here they are. Question, this looks fantastic, actually. Yes! This looks brilliant. This, Wow, this is actually really, really good. Yay! For the, uh, it looks exactly like a stable. <laughs> and you're not just saying that because you're on no. my channel. No, no, you nailed it, actually. This looks great. Perfect. Come on in. Okay, come inside. <laughs> Welcome. So, basically, there's 16 stalls, and okay. people will just be able to rent them either weekly or annually uh, to keep their horse for when they're racing. Okay. This is perfect, actually. I, I think I have a horse somewhere around here, but I think it's just wandering around the racetrack somewhere. Right. Well, also, <laughs> I, wanted to, uh, I wanted to tell you, because... You're, you know, you're the one that built the amazing racetrack and, uh, you know, you were cool with me uh, just building a massive building so close to your build. I wanted to give you a stall for free. Oh, okay. So you don't have uh, to pay. So you just get to choose one. <laughs> oh, awesome. And okay, then you cool. can, you know, write your name on the sign and it'll be yours. Okay, so I just get to pick whichever one and I, I can put my horse in here? Yeah. Okay, yeah. sweet. Yeah, take your time. Just, you know. They're pretty much identical. On, I'll probably take this one down on the end right here. Oh, that's pretty smart. I was thinking that we might need a way to, like, get the horses. I don't know where your starting line is, but, you uh, know, right maybe. Over there with the flag over there with the with the big chain chomp. Thing. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, I got to go find my horse now. I don't know where he is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, cool. When, do, when is the race truck's done, right? Yeah, it is finished. Uh, and I actually asked Grazer about when we might do it, and we have no idea actually if we're gonna when we might do a racing event. Hmm. Uh, I have no idea, but it is done. It's completely finished. All right. Well, my stables are done now too, so I'm I'm ready to go. Okay. Maybe we should let everybody know. We should be like, let's do it soon. Yeah, do I agree. A racing event. But anyway, cool. All right. Well, thank you so much. Like that, honestly, is very very flattering that you like it. <laughs> yeah, it looks great. It looks really good. All right, sweet. I like, it. I like it a lot. Okay, okay, cool. And thank you for the for the stable. I'm gonna bring my horse in here whenever I can find him. <laughs> you are welcome. All right, see you, Bayani. Hi, Stacy. Okay, so I'm here in my Nether tunnel, and I left Georgette back at my uh, my stables because this uh, this mission is too dangerous for Georgette, but I do trust Henry with it. Uh, so for the rest of the episode, I want to work on my project that I am doing next on the cube, and it's something related to my house. You maybe can guess what it is. I don't know if I've talked about it before, but you can look at my inventory and kind of see what it is. And by the way, how cool is it that Bayani liked my stables? If you don't know, uh, Bayani has built a lot of the maps, like the Hunger Games maps on uh, MCSG. He's the one that's built the maps. So uh, for him to like something that I built in Minecraft is pretty high praise. Uh, okay, so you guys are going to be able to see what I'm doing in a couple of seconds. I've already done a little bit, and I hope you guys like it. <laughs> All right, here it is. 
Ta da! It is my nether tunnel! Guys, so I, I, you know, a lot of people do this as. Henry, Henry, come back here. Get back in here. You just ran out of there. Uh, a lot of people do this as soon. It's one of the first things they do when they get on the cube is they build out their nether tunnel. My nether tunnel was so long that I just didn't feel like doing that uh, at the time. And I always have been working on other projects. And I finally was like, you know what, Stacy? You're accomplishing so much on the cube. So many of the goals that you set out to do, uh, you've accomplished. You built a cool house. Uh, you know, you got some shops that spawn. Uh, it's time to finish your nether tunnel. Like, that's one of the most basic things that you need to do. So this is it. There's, like, little doors to my tunnel. Uh, I even, like, finished this off here. And it's basically just, you know, like a mesa. Uh, like a tunnel of the mesa. And all of this right here was about... A stacks worth I think I think I collected three no I think it's two stacks um, oh no wait that's right I have supplies on Henry look at all the supplies Henry has good boy uh, so basically basically uh, I'm going to be extending this all the way down there which is going to take forever I'm just gonna do a little bit of it in this episode and I've, I wore down this pick I have to repair it so I've made several iron picks so far I actually prefer the iron picks because then you can really uh, look at which uh, piece of nether rack you're hitting uh, whereas when you use the diamond pick uh, look it just kind of like goes crazy and that's how mistakes happen if anyone remembers uh, the unfortunate mule and donkey incident I mean, it's nothing new. Oh, no! Oh, no! 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 But anyway, uh, so I thought I would carry on building this a little bit. I'm going to have to work on this a lot uh, outside of my episode. I kind of want it to, you know, not go in a totally straight line, too. Every once in a while, I want to throw in, like, a little bit of a curve. Uh, and then primarily I'll, I'll bring a bunch of mules here and you'll take mules, uh, to and from, uh, the side of the nether. Instead of doing like a minecart or something, I think you can ride pretty fast on the mules. Uh, so that will be my nether tunnel. I think it's pretty unique. Uh, but there's just tons to do, uh, in terms of, um, you know, getting the pattern. So I'm going to lay down a bunch of sand right now. Uh, probably every you know everything that I have I have a ton more sand actually in Henry's inventory um, and then I'll okay I didn't see that coming uh, even though I should have um, so I guess I'll just sort of do this now and maybe I'll use my diamond pick until it breaks it's not it doesn't have the greatest enchants on it so I don't know if I necessarily need to it gets so expensive to repair so maybe I'll use my diamond pick just a little bit. Oh, I'm nervous, though, that I'm going to hit lava and uh, kill myself. Um, anyway, so I thought while I was doing this, though, I would tell a story uh, and do something that I don't normally do, which is talk about sort of like real life um, outside of of the cube world world a lot of people do that in their minecraft videos i don't really tend to do that as much but i figured i would because i went to comic-con uh over the uh i guess the weekend um and it was really fun i vlogged a little bit i'm so far behind on my vlogging channel i have a vlogging channel if you didn't know and uh I'm, i have so many things to post there guys and i'm just so far behind uh, so I did vlog a teeny bit at Comic-Con, not as much as I should have, uh, but a teeny bit. But I did want to tell you one really funny story that happened that I didn't vlog. And I'm so mad that I didn't vlog it because it was, uh, in my opinion, pretty funny. Um, so basically, I went um, and spent the day hanging out with uh, one of my friends, actually, named Joe. Um, who you might know as a Minecrafter named uh, Stampy Cat. And we were on the floor of Comic-Con. Uh, and first of all, I have to say that there were four viewers uh, who recognized me and came up to me. And it was so cool. I got to take pictures with them and talk to them. Um, so if you were one of those people, thank you for coming up to me. It really was so cool and so special. Um, 
just really, really fun. Uh, but anyway, I uh, was on the floor of Comic-Con, and there was a, uh, a booth there. Uh, a lot of people sell Minecraft merchandise at Comic-Con. Uh, the foam swords and the plushies um, and lots of stuff like that. And there was a booth there that was selling all of that stuff, everything you can possibly imagine, um, and specifically all of the plushies, uh, including a ghast plushie, which I just have to say... They didn't do the cute ghast where he's kind of like docile. They did the really mean ghast face where he has like the red eyes. Um, and it's like a stuffed animal sized doll. And I just feel really bad if you're like a, a child that's hugging its, you know, ghast toy at night. They're really creepy. Uh, but anyway, they had everything else there that you could imagine. They had... You know, the little squids, the ocelots, um, what else? They have creepers and pigs and uh, even, I think there's plushy skeletons now. And I was holding a wither, um, a, a, like a little stuffed wither, which was actually pretty cute. Uh, and there was a guy there that was manning the booth. And he saw that I was holding the wither and he started talking to me. I think he had just been sort of told a little bit about uh, Minecraft, just enough that he would be able to talk uh, intelligently about the different uh, products that he was selling. And so he came over to me and he saw the wither toy and he was like, oh, that's um, that's a stalker. He stalks you in Minecraft. Uh, he's like a, you know, he's like a virtual stalker um, and he's called uh, an Enderman. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. Uh, interesting, interesting. And I, I kind of thought it was really funny that he was, you know, talking to me as if I had never played Minecraft in my life. Um, like I was just, you know, a, someone else at Comic-Con who was just stumbling across these stuffed animals and just like, hmm, what's this? Uh, and so I immediately picked up the mushroom and I was like, well, what is this? Uh, and I held the mushroom up to him and he was like, oh, yeah, that's um, that's a mushroom that has turned into a cow uh, by magic and it's called a mushroom. <laughs> and that really made me laugh. So I, I, I said I said something along the lines of like, wow, what a weird game. And he looked at me and at Stampy and he said, it is a really weird game. You guys should really try it sometime. <laughs> I wish I had been vlogging. It just, it was so funny. Um, I just sort of said, you know, yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll give it a try sometime. Uh, and then walked away. Um, but it definitely made me laugh. Uh, and I ended up uh, not at Comic-Con, but at VidCon, I bought a little squid plushie and some ocelot plushies. Uh, and I'll probably do a giveaway of some sort soon. Um... But anyway, that's just my little story that I thought I would tell, like a real life, uh, a real life story here on my channel, which is something I don't usually, I don't usually break character from my episodes. <laughs> uh, anyway, so here is the, I hear fire, and if there's fire, there must be lava. There's the fire. So I have to be very careful over that way. I think it's time for a curve, actually. Um, I want to make sure that I'm, you know, making curves like this is such a straight area of the tunnel. Uh, and by the way, I am going to get silk touch shears and cut some of those little um, pieces of like desert grass and put them like in places like here. So that as you're walking down the path, there's there's those little pieces of grass. I think that will definitely complete the look. Um, and then I'll have to put like a sign up or something that says like, you know, Stacy's this way to Stacy's house. But anyway, that is um, that is the project. And now that I have so much gold, um, way more gold than I expected to have, uh, I definitely plan, I think, to uh, hire Dull in the next episode. Uh, and hopefully she'll be around and she can help me finish this because, guys, this is taking so long. I'm going to have to collect way more materials and I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm not even halfway through uh, this side yet. We've got this whole side and then you turn that sharp left and you've got that whole side. Um, and I'm not even halfway through half of it yet. So I'm not even a fourth way done. I would say that I'm not even an eighth way done. Uh, so this is going to take 
forever. But I think once it's completed, uh, it'll be a really cool way to get back and forth from my house. So hopefully I'll do a lot of work off camera, uh, get going pretty far, collect a lot more materials. And then in the next episode, uh, I will hire Dull to help me um, to help me finish them. And hopefully she'll be in my episode because I don't think she's been in one of my episodes yet. No, I don't want to live stream. Cancel. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks go so much for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Where did those zombie pigmen come from? There's... Holy... How many are there? These guys were not here earlier. Just four zombie pigmen just randomly... Uh, guys, this throws off the whole look. How am I going to take my thumbnail now? You guys, I really want to hit them right now. You guys just have to go. You have to go this way. You're just, you have to. You're not welcome here. You're, you're ruining, you don't match. You just don't match the decor that I'm, the look that I'm going for. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of The Cube. I hope you liked it. Uh, and I will see you guys next time. Paige and Molly love you. Go rescue a dog.